Hello everyone and come to RN tutorials on engineering mechanics. So now we are going to discuss uh, about law of moments, a simple uh, statement which is uh, uh, given by the law of moment and now we discuss. So here the statement of the law of moment is when a body is in equilibrium under the action of uh, system of forces that means number of forces the sum of anti-clockwise moments equal to the sum of anti-clockwise moments here we know every force which is acting on a body can have an effect of moment which produces the rotational moment on the body so according to the direction of rotation we can consider them clockwise and as well as anti-clockwise okay so here the application of law of moment is here whenever the uh, force uh, number of forces acting on a body at a particular distances from each other in that if you don't know uh, the distance between any two particular forces we can find out those distances uh, by using the law of moment that is the application of law of moment here so for that uh, assume it is a body uh, which is uh, provided with a support at a point O so when you provide one support uh, it may not be sorry it will not be in equilibrium uh, why because uh, according to its weight uh, it won't be in balanced position so that means it will be not in equilibrium that means it is not in equilibrium so for making it in equilibrium as well as in balanced position we need to provide forces on both sides so i have given the two forces f1 which is acting downward direction and f2 which also acts in downward direction so these are the two forces by which we have made the body in equilibrium that is in balanced position so here uh, what is what kind of the moment these two forces can produce means here f2 can produce uh, the clockwise directional motion rotational motion here why because with respect to point this o when the force is acting right side of the body in downward direction it can produce clockwise and similarly f2 produces with respect to point o anti-clockwise directional rotation that is the moment of the f1 force so now for finding the moment and for applying the law of moment we need to assume the perpendicular distances from O point to the forces F1 and F2. So assume D1 is the perpendicular distance to F1 from O and D2 is the perpendicular distance to F2 from O. So I will represent the direction of rotation. Here the moment that is the type of moment is clockwise moment for F2 and the clockwise moment for F1. So now we apply the statement of the law of moment that is sum of anti-clockwise moments is equal to sum of clockwise moments. So what I may be sum of clockwise moments is equal to sum of anti-clockwise moments like that also we can write. So anti-clockwise moments here F1 produces the anti-clockwise rotation which is positive. So that means the anti-clockwise moment is positive one that, is, that can be written as force into perpendicular distance that is F1 into D1. Similarly sum of anti-clockwise moment means here F2 produces the anti-clockwise moment only one force so one moment will get that is in clockwise sorry clockwise clockwise F2 produces clockwise moment not anti-clockwise so the clockwise for that again we can write it as force into distance so this is the way of uh, writing the formula according to the statement of law of moment so based upon the number of forces acting on a body the sum of moments will increase okay if more than one force produces anti-clockwise, the more than one moment will get on left side. If we are uh, on right side, if more than one forces act on a body, here also the sum will get more number of moments. Sum of number of moments will get. So like this, uh, we can uh, uh, write the equation for the law of moment. I hope you understand. And if you understand, please uh, subscribe to my channel otherwise please give a comment to my video so that i can improve my explanation and thanks for watching my video thank you all